with a one eye open. Into the Dead 2 is the latest in a popular series of horror games. It's an infinite runner. Your goal is to survive for as long as possible. The game also includes a story mode with multiple endings, weapon and ammo perks, and more. The game also includes more gameplay mechanics than its first iteration. Thus, it's the one we'd recommend first. The first Into the Dead is still pretty good, though. Both horror games are freemium. See you soon. I promise. It's the same as Fran Bo is another series of horror games. Each game is a different chapter in the storyline. Unlike many games that package the whole series in a single title, Fran Bo breaks the mold by making each chapter its own downloadable game. It's a puzzle game where you must self-administer medication to go into an alternate world. The storyline is excessively creepy. It's a decent series overall. Each game in the series will run you $1.96 with no in-app purchases or ads to bother you. The Five Nights at Freddy's titles are a series of highly popular horror games. They rely on the classic jump scare. Your job is to sit somewhere and keep an eye out for living robots. They are, of course, trying to kill you. You win the game if you can survive. There is also a healthy amount of lore and story. These games have quite the following on YouTube as well so there is a bunch of content to watch there. There are several games in total to play through. The mechanics vary between the games. However, the core premise remains the same. Each game is $2.99. The series has a loyal following, even if the games aren't the biggest deal like they used to be. Dead Effect 2 is a creepy sci-fi shooter. You play the role of one of three characters. Your goal is to level up, find new weapons, and defeat the bad guys. It features tons of alien bad guys, lots of dark corridors, and a 20-hour campaign mode to play through. The graphics are pretty good on their own. However, they do get a boost if you're using an Nvidia Shield device. It's not typically what you'd think of when it comes to horror games. However, it's about as close to a horror shooter as it gets on mobile. Dead by Daylight Mobile is a surprisingly fun game. It's an asymmetrical PvP game where four players duke it out with a single player. The solo player is a monster with several special abilities to give them an edge over their opponents. The game gets consistent updates with balance changes and such so nothing stays the same for too long. 
The movement controls and mechanics are solid as well. The game suffers from the occasional server issue and it may run poorly on old or low-end devices so beware of that. Rated M for mature. The Walking Dead is a series of horror games originally from Telltale Games. They are based on the popular comic book series and TV show of the same name. In each game, you'll play through five episodes of storyline and try to survive the zombie horde, crazy people, and other obstacles. There are a total of four games in the franchise. They all have elements of adventure, puzzle, hidden object, and more. They can get delightfully creepy at times, but they're mostly just entertaining. Telltale Games doesn't control these games anymore. We have a link to the first one below, but you'll need to search Google Play for the others.